Welcome back, mathematicians. Today's lesson is on laws of exponents, and it's found on page 32 of your textbook. These laws you have to know to be able to apply them. The first law says when I multiply powers with the same base, I write down my base and I add the exponent, so m plus n. The second law says that when I divide exponents with the same base, I write down my base and I subtract exponents. So that will be m minus n. The third law states that when I raise a power to a further power, I multiply the exponents. A, and then I will have m multiplied by n, which equals a to the m n. When I raise a product to a power, each factor, each factor's exponent must be multiplied by the power it's being raised to. So a, this is a to the 1, n times 1 is n, multiplied by, it's t to the power of 1, n times 1 is n. A few things to remember. Any number to the power of 0 equals 1. A negative number to an even exponent will always result in a positive number. So that would equal positive 1. Why does that happen? I'll remember if I group two negatives together, a negative multiplied by a negative is positive. A negative multiplied by a negative is positive. So this would be positive multiplied by positive, so my answer would be positive 1. An odd exponent, negative 1 to an odd exponent, will result in a negative number. So we have negative 1. Why does this happen? Well, remember, we're going to group two negatives together. It will result in a positive. If I multiply two negatives together, I have a positive. And so I have positive multiplied by positive multiplied by negative. So my result is negative 1. Let's look at the worked examples. Number 1 says 2 to the power of 2, so 2 squared multiplied by 2 cubed multiplied by 2 squared. Well, first thing I have to check is that my bases are the same. Laws of exponents only work when we multiply or divide. So my operation is multiplication. So when I multiply powers with the same base, I write down my base and I add my exponents. 2 plus 3 plus 2, and that would be 2 to the power of 2 plus 3 is 5, 2 to the 7. Example 2. It is often far easier to write these as a fraction. So 3 to the power of 4 over 3 squared. I am dividing, so I must subtract exponents. My bases are the same. I'm going to say 4 minus 2 equals 3 squared, which equals 9. The third example, you have to identify the, the operation. I'm raising a power to a further power, so I must write down the base. You have to learn your laws. I write down the base and I multiply exponents. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 multiplied by 8 is 16. This is too big a number to work out, so we leave it in exponential form. 
That concludes our lesson for today. Go and do the exercise, test your understanding to see how well you understand this concept. Thank you.